Hey, this is Randy from Burn the Priest, and you are watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, and once again I'm sitting with Randy Bly of Burn the Priest. That's right. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, of course, on this so snowy day. Oh, a horrible day. I appreciate you coming. I like out. the snow. Well, you've been taking pictures outside in, in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah, and we don't we don't get the snow where I live. Like not so much in Richmond. No. So I'm hoping to get some real nice images to sell to tourists. <laughs> Very good. I'm sure they'll be on your Instagram too. Eventually. Yeah, exactly. But Burn the Priest is back. Uh, a new project called Legion Twenty. Right. A whole album of cover songs that inspired you, inspired your bandmates. Can mm -hmm. you tell me how the idea of this came together? Well, we've been talking about doing a cover album for years, like years. Um, and some of the songs we've been talking about covering for years, like uh, we did Eye Against Eye by the Bad Brains. And, you know, my personal favorite band of all time, and I have a sort of history with them as well. But, like, I don't know, 18 years ago, we were on a camping trip, uh, hmm. and we were out four-wheeling, rednecking in the mountains of Virginia, and me and Mark were in one of the trucks we had, and we were listening to that album, and I was singing that song, and he was like, we should cover that. That was 18 years ago, you know? Um, so that and a few of the other songs have always been in the back of our heads. But we're still touring on our last album, Sturm and Drung. You know, yeah. We got more Slayer stuff coming up. This tour, tour cycle is going and going and going. So uh, in the meantime, we're like, well, you know, we should put out something. And I, I believe it's the 20 year anniversary of the, the first Burn the Priest record, yep. uh, us doing that. So uh, Mark and one of our guys at Mansion were like, well, let's bust out a covers EP. Um, and I was like, oh, that'll be easy in between touring and all the other stuff I'm running around the world doing and yeah. so forth. And it's called Legion because the guy who put out the first Burn the Priest record is a guy named Mikey Brosnan. He's a friend of mine from Philly who's passed away now. Um, he got hit and killed by a drunk driver a few years ago. But oh. he, um, he started a record label to put out the first, first the Burn, Burn the Priest 7-inch. That was our first thing that ever came out, was a split seven inch. Um, and then he maxed his credit card out and was like, I'll put out the album. Because nobody wanted wow. to, we had some interest from some of the metal labels, I, get, I believe, but nobody really wanted to commit because they were like, this band is gonna break up in a, you know, probably a year mm -hmm. because we were insane, basically, and nobody wants to sink money into a band that's gonna you know, just sure. implode. Somehow, we've been on the verge of implosion for, I don't know, 24 years now, and it just hasn't happened. So yeah. It's always around the corner, but not yet. So, uh, so we named it Legion because um, Mikey, the record label he started, he called it Legion. So yeah. it's a nod to him, you know, and right. there's a picture of him in the inside, the records. It's a great deal of it is dedicated to him, you know. Um, and these are all more, uh, they're not metal songs. No. You know, I mean, kind of like SODs is on the edge there, but they as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's on the edge there, but like, um, you know, A, I'm not a metal head. I don't <laughs> really listen to metal. Right. So that's not what influences me, but modern metal is the result of the melding of more old school metal and hardcore and punk rock, the speed. That's where you got thrash and speed metal. Of course. You know, if you look at pictures of Metallica, Anthrax, Megadeth, Slayer, they're all the old pictures. You're seeing Cliff Burton in Misfits t-shirts. You're seeing Jeff Hanneman in a COC t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Someone's wearing a DRI shirt or whatever of Discharge, all those bands listen to punk bands, and that's where the speed of, of modern metal and the aggression came from. Tell me about your approach on Eye Against Eye, because I'm really interested in this, because it's such a dynamic song with what HR is doing throughout the whole thing. It's right. Like, that speed, uh, just spoken word thing, and then he gets real melodic right, right after that. Like, uh, like, the thing is, is that, you know, HRA is, like, he's not, of this planet, I don't think vocally <laughs> I think like you listen. Is really unique, <coughs> super unique, 
and uh, just a super unique human being in general. Um, if you haven't seen the documentary Finding HR. Oh, I, yes. I've, yes. I read gorgeous, the book, too. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous movie. Great book. I highly recommend it. It, it kind of explains uh, some of his uh, wackiness over the years. But beyond that, his vocal approach is so weird. Like when I first heard the first Bad Brains record, I was like, it sounds like a space alien or something. When I do Bad Brains with Burn the Priest, uh, I did some of the HR style stuff, the more melodic, ah, like that yeah. stuff. A, to show respect to him, you know. B, to show you I can do that. <laughs> um, but I also added more of the Randy style. When I was looking at the track listing and saw that you were doing uh, Melvin's Honey Bucket, mm -hmm. I just went, I was like, yes. Immediately, it was like, yes. See, that's one, it's interesting, because this is a very democratic sort of process. Like, uh, like we do a cro song, right? Yep. But it's Willie wanted to do a different cro song, and I wanted to do a different one than Willie wanted to do. And Mark was like, can we do, I, in my first list, I put a Chromax song. I think it was Malfunction, something off Age of Coral. Mm. Uh, but Mark put, Mark came back to us and he said, hey, can we do We Gotta Know? Because Mark's high school band covered that. And we were like, mm. okay, you have a personal connection with that. And that's cool. So, like, let's not do what I was thinking. Let's not do what Willie was thinking. And the Melvin's one is definitely not one I would have chosen. Um, I would have chosen something off of Bullhead or something mm. earlier, like off uh, Gluey Front Porch Treatments, I believe they re-released it as. Back when the Melvins were way more off time and weird. Very strange. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just a, a give and take. But that's how the ministry song, uh, Psalm 69, came into existence. Because I was raising uh, hell saying, we can't do that, Dillinger already did it. And... Um, I came to show up to, to record uh, that day, and Mark was like, we recorded Jesus Built My Hot Rod on Psalm 69 by Ministry. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense, because that song is so silly. And, yeah. uh, you know, I'm a Ministry fan, but I, I more prefer stuff off, uh, stuff off of Land of Rape and Honey. Mm. Mine's a terrible thing to taste. Um, That's a very palatable ministry song, Jesus Build My Heart. Right, think, but yeah. it's also completely moronic because <laughs> that was the vocals on that are Gibby from the Butthole Surfers, mm. who showed up to the studio so drunk he could not stand up. And so Al Jurgensen put him in a chair and he mumbled into the mic for like three hours. And then Jurgensen spent the next two to three weeks editing tape. This is before Pro Tools, oh, yeah. editing tape to make that song make sense. And then it sold like... <laughs> Over a this million huge, singles. Huge song. Gigantic, yeah. So I thought, honestly, I thought, this is a stupid idea <laughs> when I came in. I was like, why are we doing <laughs> this? And then I sang it, and it was so much fun. Burn the Priest never broke up. You know what I mean? Well, sure. We just turned into Lamb of God. Yeah. It's not like we ever really went away. So it's kind of like us just reminding people, hey, that's still us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's part of our history, and sure. now it's part of our present. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Legion 20 is going to be available May 18th. Go listen. Uh, Quicksand. Uh, yeah, that's another oh weird pick. God. John, our bass player, picked that one. Oh, I'm so good. I'm stoked for Sergio to hear that, by the way. Sergio from Quicksand plays in Deftones now. Oh, that's right. Did you yeah. hear the last Quicksand? Record? Yeah, good. It's really good. Very, very good. Really good. Highly plug, plug. recommended. Check out Quicksand. Uh, so many good bands. Frankly, just got I can't wait to hear this personally. Right. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you dropping Thank by. Thank you. Good to see you, Grant.